Standard deviation is a measure of how much a set of values vary from the average, and calculating it in Excel is super easy. To illustrate, I'll use some dummy data from my book club. It's probably more of a wine club than a book club, but anyway. Here I have a table that lists the books we've read and each member's score. Now, a common way to rank the books is to find the average. Now, while some books might score high overall, they may also polarize the group, with some loving the book and others hating it. We can use standard deviation to identify which books have a high standard deviation, indicating a large range of scores, versus a low standard deviation, indicating most agreed. Now, I have a complete set of data, so I want the standard dev.p function. If you only have a sample of the population, then you should use the dot s version of the function. Make sure you don't use these old functions stdev and stdevp. New ones are the dot p and dot s. So I want dot p. So you can either enter the numbers individually or select the cells. Let's copy it down. I'll also quickly add some conditional formatting color scales so that we can see more easily the rank of the scores. Now I can see that on average, the top scoring book was The Kite Runner with a score of 6.22, but it was also the most polarizing book with a standard deviation of 3.76. Plain Song tied for second, and with a standard deviation of just 1.2, most of the readers were in agreement. You could even argue that this was the best book since it pleased most of the book club members. Shutter Island was one of the lowest scoring books with an average of 4.89 and with a standard deviation of 0.99, most agreed. So there you have the standard deviation function in Excel. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.